we're going to use all of this to make mozzarella this time on Let's go through what we're going to need. First off, we need a non-reactive pan. Some stainless steel, five quarts. Four quarts in a gallon, so one gallon will fit perfectly in that. Colander to drain off the whey from the, from the uh, curds. A slotted spoon to, to stir everything in. We're going to be using one, fourth, a one quarter teaspoon of vegetable rennet and the Liptus powder today for uh, taste, salt for the taste, citric, citric acid along with the, the rennet to help separate the curds from the whey. The butter muslin go in with the, this to help separate again the curds, the curds in the whey. Cups and measuring spoons to uh, make sure everything is in the right stuff. This to help uh, spoon the mozzarella. And one gallon of milk. Yes, I bought two half gallons because it was actually about 60% cheaper, 60 cents cheaper to buy two half gallons than to buy one gallon. So there's everything you need to make mozzarella. Well, that, some thyme, and a microwave. Okay, first off, we have to dissolve the citric acid, the Lipsis powder, and the rennet in one quarter of a cup cool water. Two of them need to rest for 20 minutes. The vegetable rennet doesn't, but doesn't, doesn't hurt it to do it. So first, actually, it's a, a teaspoon and a half of the citric acids first. One and a half teaspoons of the citric acid. Let that sit there for 20 minutes and dissolve. Then it's one fourth teaspoon and one fourth teaspoon of the liquid rennet. Okay, let those go for 20 minutes and we'll move on. It's time to add the milk and bring it up to 55 degrees. Earlier, I forgot to mention I need a uh, thermometer and a cheese cutting knife. Well, it's at we're at about 49 degrees right now, so we got 5 degrees before we can add the lipsis and the citric acid. I already added the citric acid, and there goes the flavorant. Now, got to start. Slowly heating it up to 88 degrees. The well, problem is my uh, induction heater doesn't do things slowly, so we'll see what happens. Well, we're about halfway between the 55 and the 88, and as you can see, 
the milk is beginning to uh, curdle up nicely. We're on our way to 88 where we'll put the rennet in. And then after we stir in the rennet, it'll go up to 100 and between 100 and 105. And uh, that's when we'll take it off the heat and let it sit for a little bit to make the curds. We're at the 88 degrees, so in goes the rennet. Until it's already beginning to coagulate a little bit. Now we're on our way to between 100 and 105 degrees, where we'll take it off the heat. Got to do this for two minutes. The curds pulled away from the side, and the away looks relatively clear. So it's time to start leveling it out, putting it into our colander. Obviously this is going to take a while, so uh, I'll let you skip to the end. Oh, this is as, uh, that's as much of the cards as I'm going to try to get out. Okay, we've had it one minute in the microwave, heating up the... Get out some more of the way. Now I just gotta start so I start turning it over on itself. Get out more of the way. And knead it two more times for 35 for heat it two more times for 35 seconds. Okay, that was the first 35 second one. Gotta knead it to dis distribute the heat through it evenly. And it is hot. This is also the time that I'm gonna add the cheese salt. Okay, that's one teaspoon of cheese salt. Then knead it some more. Drop the excess whey and heat it for 35 seconds again. There's the third and final microwaving. It's supposed to stretch now under its own weight, and that it does. Hot! Just gotta knead it for a while until it cools off some. You knead it until it starts turning shiny. That's shiny. Well, there you go. That's 30 minute mozzarella. From two gallons of that to that. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like not a very good trade off, but I haven't tried it yet. Looks pretty good though. Just gonna let it cool off a little bit, even though they said you should eat it warm. I don't want to eat it warm. So, there you go. Mozzarella cheese. That's it for this edition of. The Gadget Gardener.